Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about evaluating algebraic expression. When working out such a question, you need to consider the order of operation, which is the body mass. As you can see in the question, there are more than one sign. There is addition operation and subtraction operation in the same question. This one, we need to follow the order of operation, which is the body mass. And remember, body mass begins from left going to right, meaning bracket comes first, subtraction comes last. Now, in this question, as you can see, is an algebraic expression since it's made up of terms that have letters and others don't have letters. So we need to put these like terms together, considering the body mass rule. That is, you check the sign behind each term. For instance here, 3x, the sign behind it, although there isn't anything, it's addition. 4y, the sign behind it, it's addition. 1, the sign behind 1, it's addition. x, the sign behind x is subtraction. 7, the sign behind 7 is addition. 2y, the sign behind 2y is subtraction. Therefore, now we are putting like terms together. That is x and x, y and y, and numbers and numbers, considering the sign behind each number or term. Let's begin with the x here. Our 3x is positive. When you check in the question, the other x is being taken away. Therefore, now we shall say 3x take away x, which is 2x. Now we go to y, 4y, the sign behind it, or the operation behind it, it's addition. But the other y in the question, it's being taken away. Therefore, we shall say 4y, take away 2y, which is 2y. We are remaining with numbers. We are done with that, we are done with that, we are done with that, and also that. So now we are remaining with the numbers here. These are the like terms. So... 1 plus 7 is 8. After that now, we put this together. This 2x here, the sign behind it, it's addition. Also, this one is addition. And this is also is addition. Therefore, we can combine them using addition. But remember, you can't add to 2 and 8 because they are not like terms. These are different terms, these are different terms, these are different terms. So we just combine them using addition sign, but you don't add them simply because they don't have the same terms. Now after getting this, we evaluate or we substitute the values in the question. The values are being told x is 4 and y is 3. So whenever we have x, we substitute or replace it using 4. And our x is here. So 2x means what? 2 times the value of x. And the value of x is 4. It means 2 times 4, which is 8 plus, all this is 8, plus 2y. 2y means 2 times the value of y. And the value of y is 3. So 2 times 3, all this is, gives us 6 plus 8 for us to get an answer. When evaluating algebraic expressions, we come up with an answer because already we are given the value of the unknowns. So now let's finish working out. 8 plus 6 plus 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 8 is 22. So 14 plus 8 is 22, and that is our answer. This one is different from just forming algebraic expressions. In this case, we are evaluating them by replacing the letters using the real number that are already given there. Let's do our second example. We are given 3tm squared, all these over rs, plus 5sm squared over ts squared. All these unknowns, we are given their values here. So the first thing, replace the unknowns with the real values. So let's start on this side. 
3 tm squared. Remember, it is m that is being squared. So 3 tm squared, it means 3 times the value of t times the value of m, which is already squared. So it shall be 3. Our t is 5 times 5 times m and the value of m, which is 2 squared. All these are divided by rs. And our r is 3 multiplied by s, which is 4. Plus, let's replace here the letters with the real numbers, which is 5. This is our s. Multiplied by 4. Multiplied by 2 squared. All these divided by ts squared. ts means 3 times s, which is uh, squared or which is power 2. So our t is 5. Multiplied by s and our s is 4 which is being squared now after replacing the letters with numbers now we can work out 3 times 5 it's 15 15 times 4 because 2 squared it's 4 it's 60 3 times 4 it's 12 5 times 4 it's 20 20 times 4, because 2 squared is 4. 20 times 4 is 80. All these divide by 5 times 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. 16 times 5 is 80. Therefore, this is 80 over 80. Now we join them using the addition sign 60 over 12 plus 80 over 80. We can now simplify here before adding. So by 6 it's 2, by 6 it's 10, by 2 1, by 2 it's 5. 80 divided by 80 it's 1. So here we have 5 plus 1 or 5 added to 1 which is 6. And our final answer there is 6. Let's go to the next question. In this example, as you can see here, we are given the values x is 5, y is x plus 3, z or z is 2x plus y. Therefore, before replacing the letters in the question with these real numbers, as you can see, the, the value of y is not a certain number. So you need to work out to get the value of y before replacing it in the question. So let's first of all deal with these values first. Y is equal to X plus 3. We can get Y because already we know the value of X is 5. Therefore, 5 plus 3 is 8. And the value of Y is 8. Let's get the value of Z or Z. The value of Z is 2X plus Y. Already now we know the value of Y. And also we know the value of x, so we just need to use them or equate them in this expression here to get the exact value of z. So 2x is 2 times 5, which is 10, 10 plus 8, which is 18, and our z is 18. Now after getting the values, we can now come back to the question and replace them here. Where we have the letters, we substitute them with the numbers. So like x is 5. So we have 5, take away 3, all this is being squared, plus 2z, which is 2 times 18, which is 36. All this divide by y plus 4, and our y is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. If you look at this part, whatever is inside here, it's being squared. So you can say 5 take away 3 according to Bodimer's rule because the coefficient here is 1. So 5 take away 3 is 2. 2 squared is 4. Therefore, that is 4 plus 36, all these over 12. So 4 plus 36 is 40 divided by 12. Now, as you can see, 40 it's even number and 12 is an even number meaning now we can simplify since they have a common divisor by 2 it's 20 by 2 it's 6 by 2 it's 3 by 2 it's 10 at that point 10 and 3 they can't divide again 
you can't leave your answer in improper fraction the rule of fraction says you always simplify and leave your answer in mixed fraction but not in improper fraction so now we change our improper fraction to the mixed fraction by dividing the numerator by the denominator so our dividend is 10 and our divisor is 3 10 divided by 3 is 3 because of 9 3 times 3 is 9 when you take away it remains with 1 so this one our quotient becomes the whole number and our remainder here takes up the fraction part and our answer will be 3 and a third let's try another example in this example the values are still having a known like as you can see here d it has a quarter c meaning for us to get d we need to understand the value of C. Again, if you want K, you need to do F take away 2. Also, you need to know the value of F for us to get K. Therefore, before going to the question, first of all, deal with the, the values here and get the exact value of each term. So, like for instance, we start with D. Our D is a quarter C and our C is A. So, D is equal to a quarter C multiplied by c so by 4 it's 1 by 4 it's 2 the value of d is 2 now let's also solve for k our k is equals to f take away 2 and f is 5 therefore 5 take away 2 is equals to 3 once now we get all the values now we can equate them or substitute them in the question replacing the letters now with their values so at that f it means now a third f and our f is 5 so multiplied by 5 bracket c which is 8 take away d and our d is 2 close the bracket plus k k is 3 take away d and our d is 2 now when you reach here we follow body mass which is the order of operation as you can see there are different operations like, like there are brackets multiplication addition and subtraction to get the question right follow the order of operation which says first you do the brackets the brackets are here the coefficient immediately after the bracket is five therefore to remove the bracket shall say eight take away two when you already are inside the brackets which is six then 6 times 5 is 30. So by that we have removed the bracket and all this is 30. Remember this is 6. So 6 take away, uh, six multiplied by 5 is 30. And that multiplied by 30 add 3 take away 2. The next order of operation according to body mass is multiplication. Multiplication comes first before addition and subtraction. So we take multiplication and multiplication is between a third and 30. So when you multiply, this one is divided by 1. So by 3, 1, by 3, 10. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 divided by 1 is 10. So 10 add to 3, take away 2. So now the next order of operation is addition, which is 10 add 3 13 take away 2 which is 11 and the answer is 11 i wish you the best and kindly subscribe to my channel leave a comment and also share also practice remember practice makes perfect thank you for watching bye bye